Hey, it's Joe Crump, and welcome to a new series of video blog questions that I've got. I've sent out an email and asked uh, you guys to send me all your questions about real estate. So I've got all kinds of things here that I'm going to try to cover uh, over the next few weeks, uh, one by one. And hopefully I'll be able to get to your question as well, or at least a question that was very similar to yours. Uh, we tried to filter out some of the ones that uh, were similar to try to get them all into the same batch. But here's the first question. It's from uh, Devet Wibbe. Uh, and uh, Devet says, I love your program and it's going really well so far. I do have one question though. A lot of the for rent homes in Las Vegas use property managers. Is it smart for me to contact them about the rent to buy program? And if so, what's the best way to go about it? Uh, absolutely. Property managers can be a great source of leads. Uh, people would think, well, property manager makes money by filling properties. And that's true. They do usually charge the landlord a fee to fill a property. But most property managers that I know don't enjoy that process very much and they have a lot of pressure from their uh, investor to get those properties filled as quickly as possible. And we could fill those properties even with a lease option. It makes sense because the property manager gets the property filled, they get it taken care of. Uh, you get business from them over and over again as those properties go vacant, you can fill them again. If they have other properties, if they have 50 or 100 or 500 properties, uh, you can keep filling those properties for them, putting lease option tenants in them. Uh, we know that about less than 30% of uh, lease option buyers will actually exercise the option, uh, which is usually okay for the lease option buyer, and we talk about why in other videos. But but it's also um, good for the, the, the landlord because it puts somebody in that property who's going to take care of that property more than if they were just a renter. You know, the old saying, you never wash a rental car. You know, you're going to take care of the things that are your own. You're not going to take care of the things that are not so much. So uh, I say it does make sense to do it. Property managers will work with you uh, if they believe that you're competent and you can do the task that the, they would prefer not to do. They would prefer to make money by just uh, letting that property, uh, you know, collect the 10% that they collect every month. And uh, you can make that possible for them by filling that property and getting paid the lease option fee as you fill those properties. And it doesn't matter whether you're in Las Vegas or New York or Indiana or, or Kentucky, doesn't matter where you're at. Property managers are in the same situation and it makes sense to follow up with them. Now, uh, as far as dealing with realtors, I would suggest that as a beginner, you don't deal with realtors. They've got a different uh, agenda and uh, they've got a, they're trying to accomplish something different. And if you don't explain yourself properly, they may at some point accuse you of practicing real estate without a license, which is against the law. And you want to make sure that you can explain to them the way you're doing it, the way that you're working as a principal, because it is legal for a principal in a transaction to sell their own property. That's why you have for sale by owners in every state of the union and it is legal to do it and it's legal for you to do it as long as you become a principal and that's what the Ferret method is, is doing. It's making you a principal in the transaction and making it legal for you to sell that property. If you don't have the lease option memo signed, you're not going to be legal. So make sure if you're going to be doing this that you do it the proper way, the way that I teach in this, in this method. All right. I hope that helps. Good luck.